Abby, I think it's me this time. I'm back You're in right. after getting my my butt handed to me in the opening debate with Dane. Uh, <laughs> which, thank you, Twitter, for having zero faith in my arguing. Arguing. Anyway, I'm back. Yeah. So as the winner of the last formal debate, James up against Shadi. Sh- no surprise that James has really taken this one. Honestly, it, was, it, it was that quite big close of a though. Defeat. The topic was uh, electronic shifting versus mechanical shifting, and James had a pretty good argument for for mechanical shifting. Although I feel that there would have been a much better argument for electronic shifting if either of the parties had been behind electronic shifting to begin with. <laughs> good point, good point. <laughs> anyway, so. Our last non-formal debate was the Chris Froome on Disc Breaks debate, which, shockingly, as we were recording, it went from 100% right by 1% to that he is wrong by 2%, 987 votes, and it's only a 2% difference between he's right and he's wrong. 51 to 49? Unreal. Wow. Wow. Anyway, for today's debate, we have Kaylee Fretz back in the ring after a couple weeks of a of break, and James Wong up against each other. And our topic today is chain wax for <laughs> or against. <laughs> so, as the most recent winner, James, you are going to call the coin toss. This is my favorite part. Siri, flip a coin. Hey Siri. I, flip I call a coin. heads. Woo-hoo! Heads. So, right. James, would you like to go first or second? I would like to go. I would like to go first. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out about this. I can feel my my heart rate increasing. It literally is 73. It's like <laughs> it's like 30. It's like 30 beats up. I'm stressed out about this. <laughs> All right, James. When you are ready to make your deba- debate, please count me in. All right, hold on. Well, first, I just before we start, I just want to make sure that everyone understands what we're debating here. So we are okay. talking about the process of, I guess, immersion waxing your chain, which is basically taking your chain and dipping it in a big vat of melted wax instead of using conventional drip-on loops. So that's what we're talking about here. And a- Abby, you're looking horrified. So anyway, we're, we're this is what we're debating. So I just want to make sure that everyone's clear on what we're talking about. All right. If they're not, if they're not clear, go and check out Dave Rome's article because, well, it's quite in depth in it. Article? Yeah. Or make, well, make sure you've got e-book. like, a, yeah. Make sure you've got a week set aside for that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway. Okay. I'm ready. Let me know when, when we're starting the timer here. You can go. Count me in. Down from three. Three, two, one. Okay. I will acknowledge first and foremost yes chain waxing is a pain especially the first time around because you have to have a totally dry and clean chain to start with yes it is easy to get it wrong no it is absolutely not the best solution for a lot of people especially if you ride regularly in wet weather but also yes we have a lot of data showing that it is measurably more efficient yeah fine okay but much more importantly for everyday people though we have data showing that it also helps your drivetrain parts last a lot longer than regular lube which given how much everything costs these days and how impossible it is to find replacement parts for stuff I would argue that is a much stronger reason to go with chain waxing right now instead of just regular lube. Because provided you do it right, which is easier than it seems, drivetrains also stay super clean, which means that you actually have to maintain your stuff less. So Kaylee, I'm just gonna just preempt you here. I know you're gonna say that you're lazy, so you don't wanna do this, but I argue that you do, that that you should be waxing your chain because you are lazy and because you don't wanna do any chain, uh, because you don't wanna do any chain maintenance. Time! I, I, I love how James is taking a leaf out of my book by attacking somebody. That's <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> All right, Kaylee, when All you're right. ready. I have a minute? Yep. Okay. Three, two, one. I will acknowledge that James is right on some things. It is much cleaner. It maybe allows your drivetrain to last a little bit longer if you are militant about doing it properly. But therein lies the problem. 
it's faffing. It, it, it requires so much time and energy. It requires you to buy a crock pot. It requires you to pull your chain off and clean it in an ultrasonic cleaner. I don't want an ultrasonic cleaner. I don't have room in my house for an ultrasonic cleaner. None of these things are things I want to do. It is such a marginal increase in both performance and longevity that I would much rather just lube my chain, clean it off every once in a while, and lube it again. It's not very hard. And my drivetrains last plenty long. Five seconds to spare. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you've got now a say. You've not got any an argument, have you? <laughs> All right, as I'm you ready. were talking, as you were talking, I was thinking, man, Kaylee's going to need like six minutes to make his point. So <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to speak slowly, clearly, forcefully. eloquently, indeed. Sure. Yeah. All right, James, ready for your rebuttal? All right. Go, Kaylee. I'm just going to say that your your arguments there just illustrate your ignorance on the topic because you don't need any of that stuff. You don't need an ultrasonic cleaner. You don't need all that junk that you're talking about. You need like two ball jars and maybe a little bit of solvent. And you don't need a crock pot. You need a, a stove and a pot of boiling water and a plastic container because that's how easy it is to lube your chain. And it's not just a marginal improvement. I mean, you're, you're talking about like double the lifespan of your drive tray components, especially compared to the way most people treat their chains. And I've seen your bike. It's not pretty. And you don't pay for your stuff, at least not for retail. So you oh, are not. You, sorry, time like three no! seconds ago. But I was like really intrigued by what you were saying. So I wasn't even looking at the timer. Uh, because wait, when you say drive chain components, do you mean like the entire thing? Like your rear derailleur and your yes. chain rings yes. and everything? Yes. Oh, wow. Interesting. It's not Kaylee. <laughs> we, have the, your... we have the data. We have the data. <laughs> hey, James, hush. You've had your time. <laughs> Kaylee, when you're ready. Three, two, one. I would like to contest this data. This is comparing a perfectly done wax setup, which is rare, with a very, very, very poorly done lube setup. That is the two ends of the spectrum here. There is <laughs> your bike. a place in the middle. There's a place in the middle, which is a well maintained lubed drivetrain versus a wax drivetrain which is done poorly which also happens all the time unless you've got an ultrasonic cleaner and a crock pot and all the other things that add a whole bunch of time and expense and you have to spend so much energy time. waxing your chain i don't want to spend energy waxing my time. chain. time <laughs> time all right so that's our debate who's right who's wrong who is the least wrong anyway James, <laughs> that you should wax your chain or kaylee that no one has time for that the, the funny part of this, the funny part, of, we've talked about this on the, on the <laughs> Nerd Alert podcast, is like, I wrote the story that's literally the first, like the first story about chain waxing. I accidentally kicked this off, basically, <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> this is like seven years ago, and I, you know, like I did it for a while. I'm, the last time I did it was when I raced Leadville in like 2015 or 16 or something like that, when I like cared about going fast. And that was the last time your drivetrain ran smoothly. No, it's right. Front's fine. I l you lube and you wipe I, I and you lube and like you wipe to, and. I would like to point out that, for anyone who is a regular listener of the Nerd Alert podcast, Kaylee, you can, you can't back out of this because you've even said it very clearly yourself. Zach Edwards at Boulder Gruppetto does a lot of the maintenance on Kaylee's bike. <laughs> Some. Hmm. Some. All the all the important stuff. All all the critical <laughs> stuff that actually matters. All the things that require actual tools, where I would have just used a hammer, like pulling and removing bottom brackets and <laughs> things like that. <laughs> but uh, to be fair, James, not everybody is as good at bike maintenance as you are. Which Some is people... exactly why you should be waxing your chain because it means that you have to do it a lot less. Nope. Hey, your time right, is like... over. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. And if you did not know, we actually have this segment available on YouTube. So check out our YouTube channel to see this segment in video form there are lots of facial expressions it is hopefully very entertaining Team if lube. you are only watching this video on youtube check out our podcast it is where anywhere podcasts are found so yeah also the vote will be on twitter you will be able to vote for the entire rest of this week up until we record the next podcast on monday you can either vote for kaylee Team no wax or vote for James. Team Team Lubin too. Wax. Yeah. <laughs> wax on wax off. 
Come on, cool. people. You're not waxing your chains. That's it. No, it's vote, over. Vote for your, vote for your heart. Hey, have, have you tried Follow shopping for heart. a replacement cassette and chain right now? Have you Have you noticed how hard it is to find a chain? Just a chain Hell, right now. End of the video. last a long time? <laughs> Wax your chains. So easy. It's so vote easy. Move. I'd vote be move. your man to be in charge here. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Uh. Okay. We're done. We're done. Ha, 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 ha.